speaking to news on one killed who is the national investigator for Afrobarometer in Namibia said that young people aged 18 to 35 are distancing themselves from political parties and this sense of disconnection is the key factor influencing voter turnout. As many of them says, they don't feel close to a political party anymore. And these are, of course, sort of important features because we know that one of the big predictors of whether somebody will come and vote, or even for that matter, register to vote, is determine whether they feel close to a political party. So those groups that do not feel close to parties often uh, stay away uh, from votes. And in this case, one might be able to interpret that as a kind of a protest against the political parties who does not seem to have a strategy for building bridges uh, to the youth. University of Namibia lecturer and local political analyst Ndumba Kamanya agreed with Kielder's assessment but added that this trend does not necessarily indicate political disinterest but rather a preference for independent candidates and new political formations. Kamanya linked this trend to a number of things such as corruption among traditional parties, high unemployment rates and dissatisfaction with poor service delivery. Uh, independent candidates and also the new political formation, uh, uh, you know, like LPM, uh, IPC, uh, well, what other new party, I think is uh, NEF for something like that. Definitely there is that move that, uh, that's why we are seeing a lot of independent candidate, uh, candidates uh, cropping up because it suggests that uh, uh, young people do not trust the old uh, political parties because of poor service delivery, because of the unemployment in this country, because of the perception of uh, corruption. Kamanya raised concern that young people might be voting out of frustration and need for change rather than carefully evaluating the abilities and ethical standing of the candidates they are supporting. He emphasized the need of involving young people in political decision-making processes, stating that they are the future and must be given the power to shape it.